It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sori Brewing Company out of Estonia. And it's a bottle of the Out of Office Session IPA. It's 4.5% ABV and on the bottle cap it says serious beer for not so serious people. I really like that. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. For a little story, there's lots of information about this this new brewery that I want to talk to you about. So Session IPA, really looking forward to this one. Look at that. Lovely quality looking brew. Two to three fingers of slightly off-white tank on head. Uh, nice levels of carbonation moving up the glass. And it's a slightly hazy golden amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh my goodness me, that just smells fantastic. Loads of big, punchy, bold hops. It's piney, it's grapefruity, citrusy. Little jammy as well, little kind of, like somebody's kind of warming, they're making jam, it's that aroma. Oh, it smells great. Let's dive in, cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what an absolutely fantastic session IPA. Loads and loads of big, punchy, bold, grapefruity, piney, piney citrusy flavours. But what you get with the session IPA, and at 4.5% ABV, you don't need as much malt as you would with an IPA, so there's less malt, and that equals more drinkability. That equals more of a refreshing, juicy, and it goes well with the beer. It really does that juicy kind of fresh, really nice water quality in the beer um, that goes really well. The grapefruit flavors and the piney flavors, it all kind of connects together. It is a real Stone the Crows beer. I like this in terms of it's not so sweet. Drinking a lot of IPAs really lately, they've been, They've been too sweet for my liking. This is more of a dry, then then big, bold, smashing bitterness on the back end with loads of big, punchy flavours I mentioned. Right up my street, this one. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. And if it is, all the better. Yes, look at that. So a slightly hazy IPA. Look at that. What a fantastic looking beer. I could drink that all day long. All day long. It, it's just, it's not too bitter. It's not going to kind of, and the but you've got to get a balance right with a session IPA, of course, because it's it's be it's been proved to be sessioned. So you want another and another and another. So it, it can't be too bitter. It needs to be in a way balanced and not too bitter, just to be able to make you want another one. And this is perfect. Really good beer. Now, the story behind Sori Brewing Company uh, is two guys from Finland, and you got crazy laws in, in, I was in Norway last month, crazy law in Norway where you, the, the government could only sell alcoholic products to consumers over a certain ABV. Uh, I think that goes in the same in, in Sweden and the same in Finland. So they're talking about the laws on the back of the label here. Uh, voting with their feet against the absurd alcohol laws in Finland, uh, Piri and Heike moved to Estonia to pursue their dream. The dream of brewing world-class craft beer. It was, it, it, if that wasn't enough, the brewery was crowdfunded by 225 beer-loving investors. Boo-hoo. Thank you, congratulations on your excellent beer of choice. So, crowdfunded beer. So a lot of people got together, crowdfunded the beer, invested money in their own money into the brewery and it's got it up and running what an amazing thing to do 
And of course, you have got them crazy laws as you do in the Scandinavian countries with, with beer in Estonia, the reason why they went there. Bold move, lads. I, I really applaud you for that because you could have just stayed in Finland and done your day jobs and, and, and just lived out the rest of your days doing something you really didn't want to do, but you kind of moved lock, stock and barrel. You went to Estonia, you've opened a brewery and what an amazing first beer. Sorry, Brewing Company, out of office, session IPA. Let's give it a rating. Perfectly balanced carbonated beer. Perfectly balanced in terms of my liking of an IPA. Slightly dry, flavoursome, grapefruity, piney, bitter on the back end. Wonderful. Would I want another one? Yes, I would. Rating Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.